sure that many of you will remember that last May a fire ripped through the Glasgow School of Art just as 102 fine art students were finishing their degree shows. Yeah, the students' work was destroyed, but so were huge parts of the world-famous art school. Only now, after eight months of painstaking restoration, is the building safe enough for our cameras to visit. And who better to take us on a tour than the chair of the art school and former student, Muriel Gray. I was a student here at the Glasgow School of Art, and to me and everyone who's studied or worked here, it's like a second home. Designed by Scottish architect Charles Rennie Mackintosh, the Glasgow School of Art was heralded as one of the finest buildings in the world. And then on May the 23rd, 2014, something terrible happened that changed the face of the art school. It was such a dramatic fire. The flames were shooting out. And you can tell immediately that the library was ablaze. I was just in bits. And it seemed like all of Glasgow had turned out. People were just that devastated. I mean, what a testament to a building and an institution. One of the things that I most loved about the art school was its smell. As soon as you walked in the door, it was this beautiful smell of turpentine and plaster. And that's gone now, it just smells of smoke and burning. That's actually a little bit heartbreaking. This is what's left of the beautiful, beautiful Macintosh Library, which was just without question one of the most beautiful rooms in the world. And what's crazy about it is that even in this ludicrously stripped down ruined state, it's still a beautiful space. Since its doors opened in 1909, it's inspired generations of young, hopeful, talented artists in Glasgow. Many students lost their work in the fire just hours before their submission deadline. Millie Maloko was one of them. Millie, how does it feel being back in here? Because this is where the fire broke out. Um, it's really kind of surreal. It looks very um, sort of sterile now. It's very different to how I associate the Mac. So on the awful day, what do you remember from the series of events? I think we all, at that point, thought that we lost everything. You said that might be yours, is that yeah, true? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> just that over there. <laughs> Not well, so much recognisable anymore. But it's still here. Yeah, it's unbelievable it's we survived. It's definitely made us all so much closer as a year. People sort of grouped together where maybe they just drifted apart previously. So it's been really nice in that sense to realise just how much of a community GSA is and Glasgow is. Another surprising survivor of the fire is this gorgeous, exquisite conservatory like Henron, it's called. It's a lovely long glass corridor looking out to the south of the city where many students have come to hide from boring lectures. And certainly not me, but delightful it's still here. This building really was the jewel of Macintosh's crown. He designed it with every single detail in mind. He designed the clocks, he designed, you know, the handles, he designed absolutely everything. The team of forensic archaeologists have painstakingly been sifting through every inch in the hope of salvaging books, furniture and decorative fittings. And what kind of things do you think we're going to learn from this process? Very, very, very careful research is the thing. Before you kind of lay hands on a historic building, you need to know it inside out and upside down. It's almost like we've done an autopsy of it, well, isn't it? I, I kind of felt like that, you know, and we continue with the restoration of this part of the building. And as soon as the building can be used to some extent and we see people going in, students going in and teachers going in and out. I think people will feel relieved that they've got the art school back. It's bruised and battered but already there's a multi-million pound restoration fund well underway and it will come back to being a working art school. Hopefully by that time it'll simply just be a memory in the history of this fantastic building.